India is in a very great path to become building house space for the world. There's definitely a lot of manufacturing potential to make launch vehicle subsystems, you know, ground stations, etc. Someone has to supply for the world, right? I think India is a great destination for that. And I think government decision makers have jumped on to that at correct time. I've been contacted by lots of foreigners saying, is there a good scope of work in India? Can we come to India and you know, be the part of this growth story? Literally, I'm not even lying. There has to be some reason to everything. That is what drives scientists also. So scientists work for the unknown, just believing that there are aliens, right? There is no reason for you to think that there are no aliens. Most innovations are yet to come. Chat GPT was just a step. AI can be used everywhere, even on launch vehicles, you can use AI. Weather estimation and disaster estimation, like flood I predict karne ke liye. even predict agriculture. The industry is so big that if you're skilled enough, than the engineers that are there in the market, you're recruited. Space is also in a similar way. If you have skills and if you have passion, definitely you can be a part of the story in some or the other. Hi, hi, Mr. Radhakrishna. Uh, how are you feeling this Sunday morning? Very uh, exciting, bright Sunday morning today. Thank you for having <laughs> It's a pleasure, pleasure is all mine. So thank you for taking other time from your busy schedule. I think we we first connected in September, if I'm not wrong, when uh, yeah. during when you know Chandrayaan three time was there landing. Yes, mm. yes, landing was there. Right? We we connected then. But um, let's. I was I was very you know curious to know. I had a I tried my best to you know understand you as much as I could. So you've been mm. in Hyderabad since the start. Yeah, uh, I was born in a village uh, in Andhra Pradesh, but then my okay. parents, uh, you know, married to Hyderabad in my childhood itself. So I'm born and bought out of Hyderabad. Yes. Okay. Can you can you teach me something in uh, Telugu? I think you you did a podcast in Telugu. Uh, can you teach me a greeting in Telugu? When as we start off, I can probably wish some Telugu people. Sure. So you have to say "yella unnaru" for asking "aplo kaise ho." Ella unnaru. Okay. Ella unnaru. That's it. Ha. Uh, Ella unnaru. Bagunnara. Sab achhe ho. Bagunnara. Bagunnara. Sab achhe ho. I am hoping sare achhe hain aur ab aur achhe ho jayenge hamara hamari conversation sunke. So sir, first of all, um, it's been uh, I think a great journey for you till now, right? We people are looking you looking at you from outside probably through LinkedIn. राइट देर लॉट ऑफ पीपल कनेक्टेड विद यू ईगरली वेटिंग आप क्या पोस्ट कर रहे हो है ना क्या इन साइड शेयर कर रहे हो तो लेट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग अबाउट योर जर्नी राइट आई थिंक आपने ट्वेंटी ट्वेल्व में अपनी अंडर ग्रेड स्टार्ट करी थी राइट एंड सो हाउ वॉज दैट डिसीजन ऑफ गेटिंग इन टू द स्पेस इंडस्ट्री बिकॉज गिवन दैट यू डिड योर अंडर ग्रेड फ्रॉम आई आई एस टी राइट तो वो आपने डिसीजन आई थिंक प्लस टू के ट्वेल्थ के बाद ही आ गया था कि देस देस अ विजन टू गो इनटू द स्पेस इंडस्ट्री सो हाउ डिड दैट कम फ्रॉम गिवन द एन एटीन ईयर ओल्ड पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड व्हाट व्हाट ऑल डिड यू थिंक अबाउट गेटिंग इनटू दैट या दैट डिसीजन वाज अ कॉन्सीक्वेंस एक्चुअल uh but oh. obviously i got eyesight so i have spits even today uh because of mm. that i could not become a pilot uh but uh, what i realized and even with my parents support was i was really good at science and math so mm. i wanted to pursue something in science and math and uh, you know uh, i was studying at narayana which is a you know competitive uh, you know examination college it's very famous uh, here in hyderabad and uh, andhra pradesh mm. so when i was studying there in my 12th uh, uh people i i was like getting good marks in iit je and a triple examination so my professors were eventually you know pushing me to study at a iit college or a nit college in india uh but uh, for me it was like uh, very costly and my background my father is also a very humble worker so i did not want to spend a lot of money uh, because i was also coming from an oc general category uh, it was mm-hmm. costing me around 10 lakhs uh and then i was like uh, you know venturing uh, out asking to people for what are different careers in science and then i came across this college called iist where you know they pay your fees um, uh, i mean mm. we can study for free and also it's a good college in science uh, especially space so i started you know drifting towards that and i gave my examination called isat and there's an mm. interesting story there but eventually i mm. went to iist yeah okay what what is an interesting story i'll be 
yeah so that was a consequence right so my professors mm-hmm. you know guided me that okay there's this college called is you can go there study space and then in last half of my 12th class uh, was when i decided okay i have to give it but uh, yeah. what happened was you see i cleared iit i cleared iit almost i got i think 3000 in both of them so i got some of the iits as well uh but you know um, when the ranking sheet came and all that i just uh, hide uh, hided the application from my parents and all <laughs> saying okay i will just i'm not just interested to go to iit because i don't want to mm. you know force anyone i don't want to take a student mm. loan or anything but uh, mm. there was another exam called as mset which is a local engineering entrance examination mm. in uh, andhra pradesh i got 300 in that so it was a very good rank i could have chosen any other college so the biggest mm-hmm. college in hyderabad is usmania engineering college it's a very old college uh, mm-hmm. so i had two options either and mset was free also because of my rank so either i wanted mm-hmm. to go into usmania or i wanted to go into iast but the isat results were not yet out so i just went and registered for usmania and uh, when the isat results came i did not qualify for iast uh so i got almost full marks in chemistry and math but physics mein ek question se chhoot gaya tha so i was like really depressed mai i asked in i job hoga and then i fixed my mind to go to usmania uh ek orientation day tha usmania mein i went to orientation day and then kya hua in uh, so iast mein there were around 150 seats 120 seats unme se aerospace and avionics in branches ke seats full ho gaye the and the physical sciences mein दो तीन सीट खाली हुए थे बिकॉज ऑल द टॉपर्स हुआ क्वालिफाइड एक्चुअली वेंट टू आई आई टी समथिंग सो जो सीट खाली हुए थे उसमें से मेरिट लिस्ट निकाल निकाला गया था जो भी अनकालीफाइड थे तो मेरा एक क्वेश्चन से छूटा गया तो आई वॉज इन द टॉप ऑफ माई मेरिट लिस्ट सो इवेंचुअली आई आई गॉट एडमिट फ्रॉम आई एस टी एंड देन इनफैक्ट फिजिक्स वॉज माई स्ट्रॉग सूट इवन इन ट्वेल्थ आई वॉज लाइक स्ट्रॉगेस्ट इन फिजिक्स बट यू नो फेट इवेंचुअली मेड मी लूज इन फिजिक्स बट इवेंचुअली आई एंड अप एट आई एस टी वंडरफुल I think yeah. uh, the story went well for all of us also, <laughs> right? Making <laughs> yeah. making quite a few contributions for the country, right? Mm-hmm. That's wonderful. Mm-hmm. And talking about this journey, right? We were also, I think it will be interesting for also potential students who are very inclined to the space industry to probably understand that, you know, this is the way you uh, you helped us understand that this is the way you took the step, or you know, this was your perspective when you were looking at things. But yeah. if you could probably say. help someone who wants to get into the space industry what do you think are the avenues that they can look at broadly given that i think they are they either um qualifying their 12th or or below that or probably post undergrad also if there are any options for other btech students or not yeah sure so uh, after uh, joining ist i got a really good exposure to space industry and today if someone wants to you know it's it's a gut feeling so even in 12th if you have a gut feeling saying i want to be in space it irrespective of whatever happens the way that you can choose is to go to iist or any other space college like iit indore which is offering a btech in space science and there are other colleges like iit bombay so if you have a gut mm. feeling obviously go to iist uh but mm. you know if you have a general feeling saying i want to do something in stem i want to have a bigger exposure i would still say if you love iist go to iist but obviously you know entering isro is is a very big uh, you know decision so you can mm. come to isro even after your btech so there is an exam mm. called as icrb so okay. you write your icrb after your btech and then obviously okay. you can you know uh, get into isro uh one thing okay. would be very you know opinionated is um, You you do your B Tech in a non you know engineering specific way in a general college. You would obviously have lot of exposure, and mm-hmm. also lot of different options open. So if you're okay. not really you know interested or you know don't have a gut feeling that I want to do it in space, then do it in a general college and then you know or you look for options after your fourth year. But if you have a good mm-hmm. feeling that okay I want to do it in space, then obviously IST would be the best way to go. Hmm. Great. Pretty I think insightful for. people who were unaware about that probably someone like me also also although i think i could probably not be someone who could um you know now get into that but pretty interesting and um, i i you know look at your linkedin a lot right and i see that you've been traveling very recently you know i i understand that you've thoroughly enjoyed your experience in the antarctic right apart from that also you 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 i think very fond of traveling you travel to Srinagar and you know a couple of other places also in the last year and I think you've been doing that. So how does that, where does it uh, love for traveling come from? And then um, 
i would you know love to know from your your experience in the antarctic not just the good sides but also the probably it would be very hard i assume to you know live in a state like that so yes okay so this is going to be very foolish of me but i was like <laughs> groanness grown in uh, you know bought up in city lifestyle so even yeah. uh, let's say uh, even after going to iist i did not know a difference between you know lot of trees i just used to classify all trees and matlab sach mein batao mujhe koi bhi kuch bhi nahi pata tha agriculture mujhe bhi nahi pata so when nahi bilkul hi nahi pata tha i was like there's a tree that said i did not know if it's a yeah. banyan tree people say nothing yeah. theek hai yeah. so i was like a you know dumb kid in in that aspect so uh, <laughs> after joining isro uh, there were lots of times when i was you know looked upon for you know doing some work in agriculture or forestry and mm. tamil ko it went very hard saying if i had to be in science i had to have a general knowledge theek hai tab mm. mein i you know visited some places and then it kicked out saying there's a world bigger than what i have grown in and i have to learn mm. so from then i started loving traveling traveling me i see lots of nitty picky things that i learned from so basically us angle se traveling started and antarctica mm. was another level theek hai to for mm. a person who is learning from his surroundings antarctica mm. is a box of uh, you know gifts to mm. antarctica you know that option came for me so i was working at a center called national remote viewing center Uh, mm. and isro has a ground station in antarctica so mm. usually there's a choice given to almost everyone who is working in the ground station system saying if you want to go to antarctica for one year there's an option mm. so one year ke liye jaoge you have to stay in station for 14 months i applied for it i got rejected i cannot be sent for one year because i was doing something mm. else so i was given an option to go for four months it was mm. even better <laughs> okay so I, i said it is yeah i want to go for four months and then yeah i visited antarctica and it was like really amazing hmm how did a day look like in antarctica say you get up in the morning what what do you do yeah so in antarctica there are two stations from india maitri and bharati i did my expedition in bharati where we mm. have a gro- uh, indian ground station uh, isro's mm-hmm. ground station so uh, the interesting thing is um, when you stay at antarctica sun is always uh, in the sky if you go in summer and if you go in okay. winter sun does not appear to you hmm. right so it's almost hmm. like 6 days hmm. morning day 6 days night i hmm. went uh, in summer so it was all day night and uthar sleep cycle manage karna thoda difficult hota hai because your body hmm. gets habituated to sun going down and you want to sleep yeah. when yeah. sun is always up you literally don't want to sleep yeah. so yeah. it took me one two weeks to get habituated i used to close hmm. my window shutter saying okay abhi raat ho gaya hai light nahi aana chahiye and ek aur interesting thing tha jab i see as i already told i had no idea about uh, you know hmm. general stuff i had no idea about hmm. cooking also but in antarctica there's no one else for us to cook we have to contribute so yeah. there's a duty yeah. called galley duty okay i used to clean okay. stuff and all in my home but cooking i have never done my mom you know mm. used to cook for me so when we get a galley duty we have to clean washrooms we have to clean stations we have to keep mm. everything clean and we also have to contribute in cooking there's a chef mm. but we have to cut and everything what vegetables and all so i learned cooking there what are different vegetables theek hai main vegetarian hu but fir bhi kaise cook karte hain and everything like that फिर गैली ड्यूटी के बाद द मेन थिंग दैट आई लर्न इज हाउ टीम वर्क इज रियली इम्पोर्टेंट ठीक है तो देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ पीपल हु गो अलोन ऑन फील्ड वर्क टेंस ऑफ किलोमीटर्स अवे जस्ट बाई वॉक और थ्रू अ व्हीकल बट अगर दूसरा बंदा नहीं होता है उनके पास उनका काम लिटरली नहीं फिनिश होता है सो इवन इन माई वर्क ऑल्सो आई टू गेट अ लॉट ऑफ हेल्प फ्रॉम अदर्स यू नो जस्ट बाई यू नो देर वॉल्ट्री वर्क सो उधर आई जस्ट लर्न कितना वैल्यूबल होता है टीम वर्क सो दिस वॉज लाइक interesting experience and baad mein anyways there are penguin seals and yeah. you know the food chain dikhta hai so mm. the experience was really nice we used to see because we were on an island on the coast of antarctica and ice sheet bharat is in an island in uh, winter the ocean is frozen so the island actually has a frozen ocean around it theek hai fir in uh, summer the full ocean melts and you get clean blue pristine water to usme dolphins whales sab kuch dikhte hain and mm. uh, when the ocean starts melting penguins come seals come and penguins shed their feathers wo pain dekhte ho jab penguin just stands like literally for one month shedding its feathers and 
that was a really hmm. really out of the world experience yeah very interesting to hear i can only imagine kitna interesting raha hoga wahan pe hona yeah. right so you're saying yeah, that yeah. penguins um khade rehte hain for a month stand still and they shed their feathers yeah so penguin ka life cycle mein aisa hota hai ki again so because if they are in poles summer winter mm-hmm. ka season hota hai in winter they mm-hmm. have to bear the cold so they get yeah. lots of feathers theek hai but jab season aata hai summer ka they just don't want to have this feather so yeah. the process is they go to a land so penguins always live in the transition where there is water where they mm-hmm. hunt theek hai mm-hmm. water ke andar jaake fish khate hain fir to live they all come on icebergs or on land and when mm-hmm. the season comes they come to land and just stay in one place shedding their feathers so for penguins it's a very very painful process they cannot move and even if you go and see them up close they have no response because it's a natural process that they have to stand and lose all their feathers in due course of time us mm-hmm. time pe the penguins become really vulnerable so birds mm-hmm. come and attack penguins and they cannot do anything oh. god has designed them like that that they are supposed to be vulnerable in that time so they all go as a group some penguins do not shed while some ch- penguins are shedding they kind of try to protect stay in a band or something but yeah that process like is really really interesting although it is painful for them but yeah hmm. you must have you must have made a lot of videos and probably recorded a lot of pictures and stuff there right yes yes um correct and they are on hmm. on my linkedin and twitter if yeah, you want to see yeah yeah Yeah, yeah, I did look. I did look. It was. Ah, uh, there's a picture of you standing. Ah, uh, मतलब there's a बहुत ही zoom out shot है. आप पे you're on land and you're probably looking at a seal. I think in the. Uh, yeah. That that was that was um amazing to see the the scenic beauty of that and then seeing that this is like a human standing with a seal there. तो वो तो देख के ही बन रहा था उसका माहौल. Correct. उस पिक्चर में वैसे भी सील बहुत दूर था मेरे को उतना दूर जाने में मेरा फट गया सील के पास सील सर वेरी डेंजरस हाँ यू रोड योर यू रोड दैन द पोस्ट आल्सो दैट दे लुक क्यूट बट दे आर वेरी डेंजरस या एंड आई आई थिंक हर्ड यू से समवेयर दैट वाज मोर लाइक अ बिग बॉस एक्सपीरियंस जहाँ पे आप सारे एक साथ खाना बना रहे हो एक साथ रह रहे हो और हाँ यस सो बिग बॉस में एनीवेज देर आर कैमरास एंड दे एक्ट समथिंग बट हमारे ऐसा है कि स्टेशन में देर आर ओनली एटीन पीपल एंड यू हैव टू लिव विद देम फॉर ऑलमोस्ट फोर मंथ्स और वन ईयर एंड जो भी उधर होता है अगेन व्हाट एवर हैपेंस इन बिग बॉस इज द ट्रू वर्जन ऑफ बिग बॉस यहाँ पे जो भी होता है एक्टिविटीज होते हैं डेली डेली मॉर्निंग यू नो मीटिंग होता है लीडर सेज दैट यू हैव टू हेल्प इन यू हैव टू हेल्प इन हमें एक्टिविटीज करना है लीडर सेज यू डिड दिस फॉल्ट नेक्स्ट टाइम यू शुड नॉट डू दिस ठीक है ग्रेट बट आई अज्यूम कि उतना कैप्टन बनने के लिए नहीं लड़ाई होता होगा कैप्टन तो डेजिग्नेटेड ही होता है हां कैप्टन तो डेजिग्नेटेड है जो भी बना है उनका सुनना है हम्म राइट होना भी ऐसी चीज है सो दिस इज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी जो इसरो में आपको मिला राइट नाउ नाउ यू नो वेरी रिसेंटली आई थिंक 3 4 मंथ्स अगो यू मेड अ यू मेड अ वेरी बिग करियर मूव राइट एज यू वर इन इसरो फॉर Eight years directly from your undergrad, and now you're in a space tech firm called Druva Space, right? So, अब हम बात करें that what are the strategic differences in terms of what your contributions are particularly, or more or less culturally या responsibilities का ही difference में I think जानना चाहूँगा कि how how has that change been thus far, and your idea behind switching. from isro of course after spending a great 8 years of time right giving all that you had to a true druva space yeah so that was a long decision for me i was you know it was running in my mind for 2 years and that started when uh, indian space policy started getting formulated um a lot of you know permissions were being given to private companies to you know yeah. build satellites launch launch vehicles um and you know you know build ground stations and etc um and druva space as a company was like naturally uh, you know in my line of work and also very mm. famous for building subsystems uh, you know launch uh, uh, you know deployers and then also satellites and ground stations so mm. um i was thinking of you know uh, transitioning to it and then i always wanted to do something more than what i was doing in isro and i wanted to learn mm. too so i just tried this switch and it has thus far worked very well for me druva has been a great great company and people there are wonderfully talented um mm. and culturally also um, 
as far as i can speak for dhruva space people are really really talented as far as people are talented in isro okay in dhruva space as well uh, they give a lot of freedom although they are a startup and they have their own clients lot of freedom to pursue your own things yeah so culturally also they fit a lot together hmm and broadly speaking about the you know indian space policy which came in 2023 as you said right given i know your one person who's you know thought to now move into the private sector post working there how do you think the change has been one psychologically jaise jaise ab aur democratize hota ja raha hai from space being you know public sector oriented ya nationally managed keh sakte hain hum to now it's becoming more privatized and you know more commercial commercialize karne ke liye bhi there's organizations that are, that are coming up right so how do you see this shift in terms of i think one there will there will be increase, increased amount of people there there will be increased amount of opportunities now because wo aur privatize hota ja raha hai and how do you think that people in the space world are thinking about it and given you know there's a lot of startups also now coming i think there's a lot of financing also jo particularly a space tech as a sector ki taraf bahut inclined ho rahi hai given given the successes that uh, india as a nation have had so broadly if you could share your thoughts on that yeah see space sector started somewhere in 1960s you know getting commercialized during cold war uh, people yeah. wanted to see what's happening on earth and people started yeah. sending telescopes to look back on earth theek hai yeah. um largely government driven across the world but you know companies uh, countries like usa started giving up this telescopes yeah. that have to you know observe earth to private companies theek hai tab se i think world mein little commercialization started but broad commercialization only started with the launch of something called as cubesats okay so cubesats are very very small satellites that actually can can do a lot of value generation in space um and the cost cutting that you can do with a cubesat has come as electronics started you know getting miniaturized okay so because lots of private companies are already doing it and if you speak about ca- countries like usa private companies have actually landed on moon literally theek mm-hmm. hai going above satellites going out of earth's gravity they went to moon and landed on moon they are making launch vehicles which can go to mars theek hai so the space sector itself is very very you know big and growing exponentially okay and as a country i think uh, you know decision makers have you know spotted this opportunity that hmm. uh, manufacturing as a base itself because of covid especially uh, you know b- because of different geopolitics lots of manufacturing companies want to come to india theek hai and for space sector also there is definitely a lot of manufacturing potential you could, to make launch vehicles subsystems you know ground stations etc someone has to supply for the world right because of mm. uh, you know cost parity i think india is a great destination for that and mm. i think government decision makers have jumped on to that at correct time and that is the exact reason why india is being looked at as one of the big pioneering countries in space industry right now example through our space itself we build in india for the world lots of subsystems mm. and ground stations and satellites too so you know being from a government agency before i think this is a natural step for a country to take especially mm. in space getting this opportunity you know just like mm. semiconductors some other companies you know took on the mm. semiconductor industry before us i think space we have yeah. already taken very very good steps great i as an as a probably someone who only observes from the outside i'm also you know very optimistic just reading i i belong to the consulting world and you know there's there's these big fours and there's these firms who you know increasingly jo talent hai towards space and you know broadly telecom or communications um industry or sectors may that is also increasing i also you know looking up reading through had access to a lot of well made reports not just by government organizations but also private and consulting place like these which which to my mind signals ki yaar agar if people in the consulting world why they're talking about it is that there's this place to consult right and it's not just the government probably there's a lot of private players also that they are increasing where there's a lot of consulting probably required which is also a reason or you know a business business opportunity there for consulting firms as well so that is somewhere that i also analyze and understand that yes this is very optimistic and uh, observing of course the growth the growth has been great right but now if you could probably bring in a broader perspective of where the status quo is of india when we look at the world right we understand that india ka jo naam hai 
या जो ब्रांड वैल्यू कह लो या जो परसेप्शन कह लो दैट हैज आई थिंक चेंज्ड मेनी फोल्ड आई एम प्रोबली सम वन यू कैन यू कैन इन लाइटन मी मोर राइट बट आई थिंक दैट द परसेप्शन हैज चेंज अ लॉट इन द लास्ट फोर टू फाइव इयर्स यू नो सक्सेस ऑफ चंद्रयान थ्री यू नो मंगलयान इन ट्वेंटी थर्टीन राइट नाउ नो वी लुकिंग एट ग्रेट मिशन इन द फ्यूचर इज वेल सो इफ यू कूड पुट इन परस्पेक्टिव कि इंडिया कहाँ स्टैंड करता है ब्रॉडली रिलेटिवली टू द वर्ल्ड आई थिंक दैट वुड बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर मी टू अंडरस्टैंड कि मैं अब ओवर परसीव ना कर रहा हूँ या मैं अंडर परसीव ना कर रहा हूँ राइट टू पुट ऑल थिंग्स इन परस्पेक्टिव आई वुड अगेन टेल यू एवरी थिंग आई थिंक गॉट एम्पलीफाइड ड्यूरिंग कोविड people think hmm. covid was almost a disaster and yeah it was a disaster but hmm. on the other side of things it was a boon for india okay not Silver with respect to medical yeah. terms but you know yes. a lot of funds started creeping in not just in space sector but you know other sectors as well space yeah. sector took a lot of advantage from that theek hmm. hai and uh, to put things in perspective where india stands i think india is in a very great path to become you know building house is space for the world theek hai there are companies that are building launch vehicles intelligent mm. propulsion systems satellites you know antennas literal antennas big antennas for you know deep space network or ground station getting satellite data around the world you know processing and all that and all this happened because isro already had talent right if you see all these great companies in india building mm. right now almost i i would you know which in my college as well which is iest almost all companies have in an institute of space science and technology <laughs> alumni okay mm, mm. most of the companies are being led by iest mm. alumni theek hai so isro i think ha, you know if it were for any other country theek hai man let's let's say there are lots of countries where manufacturing base could have been established theek hai only thing different from that countries and india is isro isro had a very mm. big talent pool and motivated talent pool theek hai mm. because of this we had opportunity and like let's say dhruva space itself right the story of dhruva started in 2012 but mm-hmm. everything got amplified while once the space policy came out and we had great customers to deliver and all all the products were already ready um mm-hmm. but i think there's a great way to grow for india as well especially you know see in us defense industry drives everything okay so mm-hmm. they have a lot of vision that this is this space is the next frontier it, you know period it is next frontier for all countries okay whoever controls space controls everything like you take a missile right missiles have a end target to land to okay for that you need gps without gps mm-hmm. the missile has no idea where it is okay mm-hmm. even if you take out gps and if you say this is the force this is the propulsion lots of atmospheric variables are there which it has to navigate through. if there's no gps if there are no satellites your missiles will not work okay and there's lots of intelligence will not work artillery will not work so satellites are essential not just with respect to defense but communications and everything else so us defense drives that and because of their vision there are startups today who are building very very big telescopes jwst itself a lot of private mm-hmm. companies contributed to jwst which is a most expensive space and ever that humans have undertaken okay where mm-hmm. you have uh, you know companies like peregrine okay who have landed tried to land on moon okay where mm-hmm. there's again chinese companies also who are trying to get into out of earth see earth is already saturated companies like mm-hmm. spacex and starlink and all they mm-hmm. have 5000 satellites that are going already mm-hmm. providing internet to people okay mm-hmm. so the thing is countries are going very exponentially fast and india has to match that okay so a little bit of government support is also also needed we have to match the vision of other countries i think we are already doing that but we have to take another step to to be world leader hmm wonderful and if we were to like say super simplify this can you i think i don't know if this question makes sense or not but is there a possibility that you could probably rank countries based their space um industry at the moment given the say the amount of work they do they doing or the amount of success they've seen in say 1 2 3 yeah so i i would i definitely never do ranking because everything is mm. de- demand driven okay like for example if mm. you take chandrayaan 3 it is the most mm. highest resolution camera telescope that is flowing around mm. moon theek hai there is yeah. no other country who, who can image moon better than us ठीक है, that came out of demand from Indian scientists saying we want high resolution captures and that imagery from Chandrayaan two helped 
Chandrayaan 3 land better, okay? And there are other mm. instruments as well which can image moon in 3D. So this is a mm. demand-driven endeavor. Wherever there is a potential for scientific research or a value-added service, I think India definitely mm. takes a step. Um, mm. And because other countries have other, you know, requirements, they are doing something else. Uh, in that way, I think whatever demand that was there from Indian, you know, research community or Indian defense or Indian civilian <coughs> enterprises, India is mm. India is doing the best in the world to cater to that. We have top-notch okay. satellites, top-notch instruments mm. that have gone to space, landed on moon, you know, observed Mars at a very high resolution and all that. Wonderful. Great that you didn't categorize that in uh, ranks. Probably it's not easy for you to understand because things are so complicated. Naturally, mm. it's naturally it's very difficult to do that. But um, as you know, this this question pops up in my mind that you know we so talent, uh, talented as a nation, right? We have so many talented individuals, right? As you said, you're you've been part of IIST, right? Isro me, it's not talented that we've been executing now, you know, missions with what. से मिनी स्कूल कॉस्ट कंपेरेटिवली टू वट द वर्ल्ड डज राइट सो इस इस पॉइंट में मेरे दिमाग में क्वेश्चन आता है कि क्या डज दैट मीन कि हम ब्रेन ड्रेन की बात करते हैं राइट दो मेनी टैलेंटेड इंडिविजुअल्स वाई वाई डज से यू एस से और से समर कंट्रीज नॉट आई मीन इट्स अ क्वेश्चन इट्स अ ब्रॉड क्वेश्चन दैट डू दे देन पोज दी सक्सेस ऑल्सो इज देर अ लॉट ऑफ डिमांड फॉर indian scientists and people who've been you know who've contributed a lot to the success of the space industry in 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 the nation to bring them across to to nasa say or you know take them to the, the their country to say contribute more to their space industry have you see have you seen instances or how would you how do how do you see that right so uh the most important thing is uh, nasa does not in Uh, you know recruit indians per se indian citizens so there are okay. uh, indirect ways of working for nasa like through a contractor so you work for a okay. nasa contractor and then mm. even then you need security clearances and all that uh, the mm. way that most people have gone to work for nasa is by doing ms after your graduation and then you do mm. your phd and then you know work for other space agencies even in europe or anywhere uh mm. but especially for uh, brain drain i don't know about software world or the it world but india i i you know i've been contacted by lots of foreigners saying is mm. there a good scope of work in india can we come back come to india and you know <laughs> be the part of this growth story literally i'm not even lying okay so mm. people see because india is growing uh, if you are in this growth phase of the story yeah. you will grow a lot personally as well and so yeah. india is attracting a lot of talent people even i have spoken mm. to even japanese who want to you know come back to, come to india and you know be mm. this part of engineering and all that so udhar to hai and people going from india to out of uh, india are doing like, let's say there are lots of good companies even outside india who are doing you know space engineering um yep. and that the the way that i've only seen majorly is by you know studying abroad so hmm. the talent here is definitely not going out is what i am seeing wonderful is that because of the um a, a strong nationalistic sense also of contributing to the no, nation no, i it's, think it's a the, economic yeah there are two two sides to it uh you know if you speak about myself uh, i also got couple of offers but i did not want to leave because isro mein hi join kiya isliye ki india ke story mein contribute karna hai so hmm. if there are companies like through a space who are offering you know a better story than the hmm. outside world then obviously i would like to contribute in indian space industry and yeah so people i think uh, because people uh, the talent is from isro whoever is interested and the other talent also they have a good chance here to contribute to india and there's also good opportunity as well okay the market opportunity is also quite big so when india is offering you prime quality you know opportunities there's no point going mm. elsewhere and struggling mm. makes sense makes sense the other day i think a few days ago i was having this conversation with one of my colleagues at work right so he was a he's a indian economic services he was a aspirant right so he he's a he's a hardcore economics guy and he you know knows knows a lot of so we were discussing that you know he had a conversation with someone who was say negligent about the india story right that keen to send their um uh, relatives you know children abroad and not very optimistic about india but he 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 quoted some facts on how you know just economically 
लीव द नेशनलिस्टिक परस्पेक्टिव साइड कि आपको कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट भी नहीं भी करना है इंडिया की स्टोरी में तब भी इट मेक सेंस टू बी इन इंडिया एज यू सेट दैट यू नो पीपल पीपल आर पीपल फ्रॉम जापान एंड पीपल फ्रॉम अदर कंट्रीज कमिंग टू इंडिया वी सी दैट इन इन टर्म्स ऑफ फाइनेंसिंग भी जैसे स्टार्टअप वर्ल्ड वेंचर कैपिटल वर्ल्ड में है बहुत सारा इंडिया की तरफ मनूवर हो चुका है अब तो अब तो हम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर में बैठे आई थिंक राइट सो आई एम ग्लैड कि वो आपने कोरोबरेट किया जो मैं सोच रहा था इन टर्म्स ऑफ टैलेंट इन स्पेस इज वेल नाउ एज वी टॉक अबाउट द यू नो लव फॉर द नेशन एंड द नेशनलिस्टिक परस्पेक्टिव एक एक क्वेश्चन जो मेरे दिमाग में आता है बींग बींग यू नो समन हुज डिबेटेड अलॉट तो हम ये साइंस और रिलीजन और गॉड की बहुत डिबेट्स करते थे कि गिवन यू नो योर 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 अ साइंटिस्ट आई वुड लव टू नो फ्रॉम यू हाउ डू यू थिंक अबाउट से लाइफ आफ्टर डेथ और हाउ डू यू वट इज योर परस्पेक्टिव ऑन गॉड बींग बींग अ पर्सन ऑफ साइंस नाइस so from childhood i have always believed in god in some way or the other okay and then you know being in space teaches you a lot uh like one example would be see i had lots of debates about god lots of times i myself learned that my thinking is not right and this process of you know defining god is something that we have to it is personal okay your god is yeah. different my god is different etc so what happened eventually is uh, what i began to think is god as a definition would be something that drives you gives you life etc etc okay so in the process of evolution and this is all my personal feeling in the process of evolution everything that has driven life on earth is basically sun which is a star right hmm. so if there was no sun there would not be an earth and there would be none of us right so sun gives energy every day to plants and the food chain starts and it ends with us okay so for me i think nature drives all the processes here and definitely there's always some big reason behind it okay at least hmm. even with respect to science also uh the root cause like let's say of the ancestors of life we have not been able to recreate it uh with respect to uh, you know environment or you know we have not been able to create life but nature has created it so there's definitely some unknown still gap is there so for me nature is god and i still believe in god and i have felt personally that karma hits back hits me back in a lot of you know uh, situation so definitely i must believer in god and with respect to life after death see for me the thing is we are all you know symbiotes the lots of bacteria lives in us right and when we die essentially we have to go back to earth right for me what i believe is we have to be buried in earth and all our carbon you know mixes around the earth and then plants grow up and then plants are eaten by animals animals grow humans grow etc so some of the other way we are coming back to earth theek hai in mm. life form or a non life form so definitely life is there after death in what form we have no idea so for me this is the belief hmm interesting but don't you get don't you get followed up by people ki when you say that you know this is something that we don't know of i assume that a person of science would say that say he would not believe in something that he can't necessarily prove राइट तो क्या वो कभी क्वेश्चन आता है या लोगों से आपके खुद के दिमाग में कि यार देयर हैज टू बी सम रीजन टू एवरीथिंग हां सो दैट इज व्हाट ड्राइव साइंटिस्ट आल्सो सो साइंटिस्ट वर्क फॉर द अननोन इफ देयर इज नो अननोन वी नीड नॉट वर्क एंड मुझे पर्सनली ये फील होता है कि यू हैव टू रिस्पेक्ट समथिंग दैट देयर इज अबव समथिंग टू यू राइट तो कुछ और ऊपर है जो आपको नहीं पता है सो देन यू स्टार्ट लर्निंग फॉर इट ठीक है science is literally for me an unknown and i always try to learn what is happening around me so even this process is godly to me humans learning about hmm. humans right itself hmm. is something that is godly you cannot even imagine what's happening atoms are learning about atoms right it's something that is really <laughs> magical <laughs> absolutely magical that's a good perspective to have i mean shakes my thinking also he yeah different perspective different perspective you know i'll also take some time think about it and uh, yeah now now talking about um is a broad question since we're talking about right god and unknown H- how do you think about say extraterrestrial life right within the solar system and outside the solar system hmm uh 
today's research in astrophysics the major component of it is to prove that there is some life or at least to find is mm. humans mm. are on a quest to find life outside yeah um with respect to solar system uh see finding water on moon or finding you know traces of water on mars all of these are you know human human reasons to reason for that they might have been life on mars sometime else or it might still be there underground we have no idea about it right and there are moons on saturns and jupiter which are probably very very good candidates for having liquid water okay and when mm-hmm. we speak about life right liquid is really important like if you take gases they are very sparse and then they move very far away from each other that the energy transport is not really efficient and in solids mm. they don't even move so energy transport is not at all there so having a liquid is very important to you know tran- transfer nutrients or transfer information from one place mm. to another okay. and that is the way of nature even for us blood right blood carries everything around the body and blood uh, and e- even you know water has a lot of you know uh, you know part to play in the life on earth okay so with respect to that finding water somewhere it will directly indicate that pro- th- there is a good probability that we might have to investigate more and in solar system mm-hmm. there are good candidates and mm-hmm. humans in solar system are a very very small part we have imaged yeah. lots of planets and moons but we have never landed on them except mars mm-hmm. and we have to do a lot of quest there okay we have not yet done that there's a lot of science to be learned there except mars and moon we have not gone you know big places Hmm. and outside solar system is as good as just believing that there are aliens right this is a very very big universe and then there is no reason for you to think that there are no aliens right there's a very big good chance that because the universe is very big there might be aliens and there are two op- two two options for us to think about in this big universe we are alone and in this big universe we are not alone even if we are alone i would be very thrilled that there is a separate <laughs> why we existed if we are not alone again very thrilled that there is someone else traveling in the universe with us uh in that way it is there and uh, the science is going towards detection of that detection of exoplanets you know detection of stars in and when we see stars in sky most of the stars have exoplanets so how do you detect exoplanet categorizing exoplanets etc so science is drifting towards and my personal belief there's definitely someone else in the universe other than us i i don't think why we are special i don't see any reason interesting what are exoplanets yeah. so exoplanets are basically planets around other stars uh, outside okay. solar system okay like for example okay. the closest star is uh, proxima centauri okay so for that there is a exoplanet which is a super earth kind of planet which is proxima centauri b okay they might be life okay and how do you detect those exoplanets is by small wobbles in star's path okay or the planet comes before a star and you see a brightness dip of the star so there are smart techniques like this where you see okay they might they might be an indication that there's a planet there and then you mm. do some kind of spectroscopy say uh, you know observe its wavelengths and then indicate that the atmosphere might be similar to earth there may be water on it etc and etc can you super simplify this from someone who, who for, for someone like me or probably for someone who's who's you know not very um understanding of the the technical terms that you know probably we are using could you say uh, dumb it down to a non science person and try and explain to him what exoplanets are right yeah. exoplanets are sun <laughs> so there's a sun right sun is a star there yeah. are lots of stars yeah. similar to sun there are lots of bigger yeah. stars like sun and lots of smaller stars like sun and every star will have a planet like us like may not be but there will be planets for most of the stars okay, okay. okay. those are called exoplanets okay, okay. usme uh, the detection of exoplanets is one thing which a, which a, which a wide research that is happening ki us star mein jo aap dekh rahe ho aakash mein wahan pe ek tara ke paas ek star, planet hoga theek hai okay. that detection itself is quite technologically complex okay yeah. phir us planet ke upar life hoga ya nahi hoga ke liye you have to detect water ki water probability kya hai liquid kya ho sakta hai usme methane hai nahi hai etc and there's mm-hmm. a concept called goldilocks zone theek hai jaise maine bataya liquid is very important for life yeah तो गोलेलॉक जोन में कॉन्सेप्ट क्या है कि आपका जो स्टार है इफ यू आर वेरी क्लोज टू स्टार वाटर विल एवोपरेट ठीक है वेपर हो जाएगा 
if you are far okay. if if you are farther from a certain distance it will become ice so there's a sweet spot a sweet range where water hmm. will stay as a liquid hmm us zone ko hum goldilocks zone bolte hain so okay. planets which are in the goldilocks zone of a big star may have a possibility of water existing theek hai to is zone mein there are some classification and then there are other classification hmm. based on atmosphere and hum humans yahi sochte hain ki लाइफ शुड ऑलवेज बी कार्बन बेस्ड ठीक है कार्बन इज डेफिनेटली अ वेरी वेरी गुड एलिमेंट फॉर लाइफ टू एग्जिस्ट पॉलीमर्स है फिर एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा बट ऐसा तो नहीं बिकॉज ह्यूम आर वेरी बायस्ड ऑल्सो सो वी आर ऑलवेज ट्राइंग टू फाइंड टेरेस्ट्रियल लाइफ बट ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि भाई नाइट्रोजन से कोई एलियन बन गया पूरा वी डोंट नो राइट फिजिक्स में कुछ भी हो सकता है केमिस्ट्री में तो दी अदर साइंस इज ट्राइंग टू फाइंड नॉन टेरेस्ट्रियल लाइफ दरिजिन मे नॉट बी कार्बन बेस्ड तो वो भी साइंस हो रहा है Hmm. and um, particularly water is is of significant importance ki wo detect karne se fir um they scope that you know this 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 life on a particular um star or this this of this broad qualification ki liquid liquid is important hmm. kya ye ya particularly water hai ha water hai because सी हमारा हिस्ट्री में जो हमने धरती से पढ़ा है उसमें क्या है कि लाइफ ने वाटर से ओरिजिनेट किया जो सिंगुलर सेल ऑर्गेनिज्म से आरएनए या डीएनए बेस्ड दे केम फ्रॉम समवेयर अंडर द वाटर व्हेन द कंडीशंस अराउंड अर्थ वाज वेरी वार्म ठीक है इन द इनिशियल फेज ऑफ अर्थ सो आर एन देन डी फिर सिंगल सेल ऑर्गेनिज्म आए फिर मल्टी सेलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स फिर एम्फीबियंस फिशर्स एम्फीबियंस एक्सेट्रा दिस इज दूशन दैट वी हैव लर्न सो you know scientists want to find some conditions like this either early phase or later phase but water hai to probably because liquid is the transport of molecules is there nutrients hoga fir energy star se aayega fir kuch banega mixture udhar fir there is a possibility of something happening aisa to mila nahi hai even dharti pe bhi humne replicate nahi kar paye ki bhai water dalo fir environment dal do early earth ka fir life ban jayega science nahi kar paya ab tak it's all hmm. always a quest hmm What do you think about Elon Musk's objective to build life on Mars? If I'm not wrong. Yeah. So the point is, um, lots of people and countries have this vision that, mm. anyways, we are not able. If we are not able to, or it is getting tough to de- detect aliens, can we kind of expand human presence to other planets? Okay. Earth ke baad moon hai. moon pe the atmosphere is not there very thin atmosphere molecules are very very low when we go to mars there is a one question one question yeah. sorry to cut you why as you said ki since we are not able to find life th- it is following from that not being able to find aliens ki hum chahte hain that we 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 try and expand why is there a um, cause and effect there is there no it's not there सो so, okay. वो ऐसा आएगा कि एक ब्लैक बॉक्स सोचो कि हमें रिसर्च करना है ठीक है हाँ. एक इनपुट ये भी है कि एलियंस तो नहीं है मार्स पे या लाइफ तो अभी डिटेक्ट हाँ. नहीं हुआ मार्स पे तो द नेचुरल क्वेश्चन वुड बी कैन ह्यूमंस एग्जिस्ट ठीक है तो बिकॉज द एटमोसफेयर इज नॉट सुटेबल फॉर ह्यूमंस दे कुड हैव बीन अदर लाइफ फॉर्म्स ठीक है बट क्या करना होगा टू ह्यूमंस टू एग्जिस्ट दे ठीक है सो दैट प्रोसेस जो है दैट इज टेरा फॉर्मिंग दैट पीपल आर स्पीकिंग अबाउट टूडे ठीक है सो जो मून पे है एटमोसफियर इज वेरी थिन जो मार्स पे जाओगे तो थोड़ा थिक एटमोसफियर मिलेगा नॉट एज थिक एज अर्थ बट एटमोसफियर तो है वीनस पे बहुत ज्यादा एटमोसफियर है सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड एंड ऑल दैट बट मार्स में एटमोसफियर है वॉट यू हैव टू डू टू ट्रांसफॉर्म दिस एटमोसफियर फॉर ह्यूमन्स टू एग्जिस्ट ठीक है एटलीस्ट सपोर्टेड इन सपोर्टेड वे एग्जिस्ट करेंगे विद कैप्स्यूल विद ऑक्सीजन एंड ऑल एटलीस्ट प्लांट्स ग्रो करने के लिए आपने मार्शियन मूवी देखा होगा तो उसमें मैट डेमोन प्लांट्स उगाते हुए so is that hmm. possible agar humans possible nahi hai to microorganisms grow kar sakte hain kuch atmosphere hmm. mein ya plants grow kar sakte hain so that it is one conclusion that you do something to mars and microorganisms can exist will take you a lot farther saying there's definitely alien life possible somewhere else theek hai because you have done small tweaks to a planet and microorganisms started its problem theek hai hmm. in that way humans also proved okay life can exist around us but definitely life may exist in a greater scheme of things 
एंड एक और एंगल है जो सब लोग बोलते हैं कि अर्थ इज यू नो बिकमिंग पोल्यूटेड अर्थ को डंप करेंगे सी आई थिंक इवेंचुअली अभी नहीं होगा प्रॉब्ली आफ्टर फिफ्टी हंड्रेड ईयर्स अर्थ अगर ऐसे ही चलेगा तो अर्थ विल डेफिनेटली बिकम यू नो डंप यर ठीक है बाद में अभी लॉट्स ऑफ पीपल आर यू नो डाइंग बिकॉज ऑफ फ्लड्स एंड फ्लड्स आर इंक्रीजिंग अंटार्टिका में यू सी अ लॉट ऑफ आइस बर्ग यू नो मिल्टिंग एंड इन दिस वे इफ इट गोज हंड्रेड टू थाउजेंड ईयर्स एवरीथिंग इज ओवर डायनोसर्स एटलीस्ट एक्जिस्टेड फॉर टू हंड्रेड मिलियन ईयर्स और वॉट एवर ह्यूमन्स हार्डली एग्जिस्टेड यू नो लाइक अगर आपने रिकॉर्डेड हिस्ट्री देखा तो लास्ट थाउजेंड ईयर्स में at least in last 100 years itself we made earth so unusable that people are already dying because of pollution theek okay? yeah. hai kings and you know you know ministers kings and all died because of you know fighting wars but last mm-hmm. 100 years mein science has started you know transforming earth to a dump yard so eventually people want to escape from earth there should be some way to go abhi believe karne ke liye hi hame possible nahi hai but i think that's an angle that humans have to you know look at hmm probably also a sign for us to again rethink our uh hmm. ways as nations and industries ki hum kya impact kar rahe hain to the environment the sustainability picture and uh, uh, tumhe kya lagta hai aisa kuch uh, humans can rethink all this ah uh, rethink i think possibility to hai par ab itna damage ho chuka hai ki ab to bas डैमेज कंट्रोल ही हो सकता है कि कितना मैनेजेबल रख पाओ बट री थिंक अगेन वो रेड टेप आ जाती है वेरी डिफिकल्ट कि मतलब वो कॉप ट्वेंटी थ्री होगा ट्वेंटी फोर होगा ट्वेंटी फाइव होगा होता तो है प्रोग्रेस बताते तो हैं बट द लास्ट दट आई रिमेंबर वी वर ग्लोबली आई थिंक वन एंड हाफ डिग्री सेल्सियस के पास जाता जा रहा है यू नो इट्स गेटिंग मोर एंड मोर हीटेड वो तो आउट ऑफ कंट्रोल है ही बट जैसे साइंटिस्ट सोचते हैं कि अगर ये नहीं हो रहा तो तो ब्लैक बॉक्स में और क्या है वो तो यही है कि डैमेज कंट्रोल कर सकते हैं और बट आई थिंक बीइंग एन ऑप्टिमिस्ट दैट आई एम आई थिंक अगर एवरीथिंग इज अबाउट अवेयरनेस राइट मैं ये नहीं कहूँगा कि आई वी टॉक अबाउट ग्रेटा थन राइट इन गुड लाइफ इन बैड लाइफ पीपल टॉक अबाउट हर बट but there is people trying at least doing 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 something about it so probably one day awaaz itni zyada uchi ho ki industrialists ya jo policies bana rahe hain they have to listen shayad ab ye question hai ki chahe kya jab tak bahut der ho chuki hogi ya jab tak scope bacha hoga wapas aane ka wo question hai but but i think sochna to aisi chahiye being being individuals who are you know looking to contribute to the india story to the world story राइट व्हाट डू यू थिंक मैं इस इस एस्पेक्ट में थोड़ा पेसिमिस्टिक हूं ठीक है okay, तो आप स्पेक्ट्रम okay. लोगे यहां पे ऑप्टिमिस्ट है यहां पे न्यूट्रल है मैं न्यूट्रल था थोड़े दिन पहले तक बट <laughs> जितना मैं देख रहा हूं आई थिंक सी डायनोसॉर्स को कुछ भी नहीं पता था फिर भी एक्सटिंक्ट हो गए ठीक है hmm. हमें सब कुछ पता है ठीक है 100 इयर्स <laughs> में इतना हमने डंप कर दिया ठीक है hmm. तो मुझे नहीं लगता इस कैपिटलिस्टिक मार्केट में इफ देयर इज अ अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर समवन and if governments are if governments are itself are running by you know big industries i think that has to decrease first and then only mm. control will come agar wo nahi ho raha hai jitna main dekh pa raha hu jo effect aa raha hai earth pe agar wo nahi hoga government controls pe nahi aayenge kuch bhi nahi hoga humans will be the first you know people to know learn about earth and would have existed ex- got extinct because of that knowledge yeah I had a very good discussion on this with you know many I think second third episode me a individual ko bulaya tha he is he has his own ESG consulting firm right so he okay. consults industries on their carbon emissions and what they can do and what okay. how the world how the world is going wrong so we hmm. also had this discussion ki like it's already very worse theek hai to he was also matlab he has to be optimistic i mean right बट 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 वही है डिस्कशन की इट इज कि नोइंगली से दैट यू नो ह्यूम आर द स्मार्टेस्ट राइट बट कैन देर बी समथिंग डम्बर देन दिस की आपको पता है कि आप ये करोगे तो आप मरने वाले हो आज नहीं तो सौ साल बाद लेकिन आप कर रहे हो तो क्या कर सकते हो मतलब इसके ऊपर एंड आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ एस आर अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट राइट जब तक 
जब तक वो इम्पैक्ट आई थिंक मेजर पॉपुलेशन तक नहीं आने लगेगा उतना सिग्निफिकेंट नहीं होगा तब तक कोई नहीं हिलेगा बिकॉज दैट इज दैट इज द वे आई थिंक ह्यूमंस नहीं बट आई थिंक यू नो मेजर पॉपुलेशन और ऑलरेडी गेटिंग इम्पैक्टेड देर आर ऑलरेडी बीन डेथ्स बिकॉज ऑफ पोल्यूशन बिकॉज ऑफ क्लाइमेट चेंज फ्लड्स एंड एवरीथिंग वो बिगर पिक्चर में इसीलिए नया आ रहा है क्योंकि यू नो इकोनॉमीज और कैपिटलिस्टिक मोस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड अक्रॉस तो अगर वो आ भी गया बट द ओनली पॉजिटिव थिंग दैट आई एम सीइंग इज इंडस्ट्रीज जो चलाते हैं द वीसी फर्म्स अ लॉट ऑफ वीसी फर्म्स आर नाउ इन्वेस्टिंग यू नो वेरी क्लाइमेट सेंसिटिव एंड देयर आर लॉट्स ऑफ वीसीस वो ब्रिंगिंग अप मनी सेइंग दिस विल ओनली गो इनटू क्लाइमेट फर्म्स दिस विल ओनली गो इनटू कंपनीज व्हिच आर यू नो कार्बन पॉजिटिव थिंग्स लाइक दैट सो उस हिसाब से देयर इज अ पॉजिटिविटी दैट अगर वीसी फर्म्स आए हैं भाई क्लाइमेट में तो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड बहुत ही बहुत ही गड़बड़ हो गया वर्स भी है हां राइट वीसी फॉर्म्स को तभी पता होगा कि भाई ऑलरेडी चला गया हाथ से तो चलो पैसे डाल तो मेक सेंस मेक सेंस बट हां एंड देयर इज अ सेइंग यू नो इन इंडस्ट्री सेइंग बिफोर द मार्केट नोस पीपल इन वीसी नो सो इफ वीसी फॉर्म्स आर यू नो गेटिंग इनटू क्लाइमेट देन देयर इज समथिंग गोइंग ऑन आई वाज आल्सो समवन हु वाज वेरी कीन मेरे अंदर भी थोड़ा वो है एंटरप्रेन्योरियल माइंडसेट कि मैं कुछ करूं तो मेरा थोड़ा सा बिहेवियरल इकोनॉमिक्स का बैकग्राउंड है आई वाज आल्सो थिंकिंग ऑफ यू नो क्लबिंग दैट विद विद सस्टेनेबिलिटी समहाउ बट वो थोड़ी थिंकिंग ही है ब्रॉड बट अभी तो जैसे चल रहा है चल रहा है प्रोबेबली समथिंग समथिंग स्ट्राइक्स तो बट अगेन द पॉइंट बीइंग दैट देयर इज जब वीसीज कह रहे हैं तो उस बात में मेरिट होगा और अपनी रिसर्च जरूर करनी चाहिए yes. है ना इकोनॉमिक पर्सपेक्टिव से भी एंड ऑफ कोर्स विद अ विद अ बिगर विजन टू वर्क फॉर द एनवायरनमेंट एंड इवेंचुअली फॉर द वर्ल्ड फॉर इंडिया राइट एंड नाउ कमिंग बैक टू द स्पेस डिस्कशन हम ब्रॉड स्पेस में चले गए अब हम स्पेस स्पेस में आ जाते हैं एज एन आउटसाइडर जो मेरे दिमाग में पहला क्वेश्चन था अब पता नहीं मेरे को एज एन आउटसाइडर तो नहीं मतलब खुद को कहना चाहिए बाय एज एन आउटसाइडर आई बीन एज समवन हु इज नॉन नॉलेजेबल एंड नॉलेजेबल ऑन स्पेस राइट जब मैं समझने की कोशिश कर रहा था किसी इंडस्ट्री को तो मैं देख रहा था कि व्हाट आर द प्लेयर्स टॉप डाउन कैसे फंक्शन कर रही है इंडस्ट्री व्हाट आर द कंट्रोल्स इन द पिक्चर व्हाट आर द बिग एजेंट्स दैट आर एग्जिस्टिंग राइट सो आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट देयर इज डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ स्पेस राइट जिसको प्राइम मिनिस्टर आई थिंक Uh, उन उसके ऊपर है राइट right? तो डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ स्पेस में um, उसके बाद जाके uh, इसरो आ जाता है एंड देन देर इज अ डिफरेंट सेक्शन जिसके अंदर अब uh, अंतरिक्ष द पी एस यू और आई थिंक इट्स अ नोडल एजेंसी ऑल्सो एंड द न्यू स्पेस आई डोंट नो एन एन एस सी आई वट वट दट द नेम ऑफ द पब्लिक सेक्टर अंडरटेकिंग इज सो इफ यू कुड हेल्प uh someone like me or even someone who's curious i think for everybody this is very uh, this would be very knowledgeable to understand how the industry and how the players big players are positioned and what are the different responsibilities jo wo nibha rahe hain in the current scenario right in government especially in india the hierarchy is there's a department of space which is like the uh, nodal body or uh, yeah. ministerial body there's lots of uh, you know isro chairman is the secretary there in department of space yeah. and uh, Uh, there are lots of other uh, members as well so department of space um, and then there is isro which is a nodal agency for indian space research theek hai isro ke andar there are lots of centers jaise space application center uh, then you have uro uh, uh, satellite center you have national remote sensing center you have vikram sarabhai space center ye sare centers mein it, there's it their own research you know scopes there's a national imaging center mein we used to deal with satellite imagery applications getting the data giving it to users ground stations and all shar loge to their cri quota mein the launches happen their integration fir udhar thoda research hoga launch vehicles pe vikram sarabhai space center mein aerodynamics and there is liquid propulsion space center mein propulsion hota hai all the center are children uh, agencies of isro theek hai isro is hmm. a parent organization फिर इसरो के पैरेलली देयर इज एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉल्ड एनएसआईएल व्हिच इज न्यू स्पेस इंडिया लिमिटेड व्हिच इज अ पीएस सो गवर्नमेंट मेड दिस एनएसआईएल टू टेक टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम इसरो एंड मेक इट कमर्शियल जैसे अगर फॉर एग्जांपल फॉरेन प्लेयर्स आते हैं पीएसएल भी उस करके लॉन्च करने के लिए तो दे अप्रोच एनएसआईएल एनएसएल विल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इसरो अ लॉन्च एनएसएल विल टेक पीएसएल एंड गेट इट लॉन्च गेट द सैटेलाइट लॉन्च फिर अगर कोई कम्युनिकेशन सैटेलाइट है जैसे जीसैट सीरीज ऑफ सैटेलाइट्स है 
उसमें थोड़ा स्पेक्ट्रम चाहिए किसी को एन एस एल इज द बॉडी विच विल टेक द स्पेक्ट्रम फ्रॉम इसरो सैटेलाइट एंड देन यू नो सेल इट एल्सवेयर तो एन एस एल इज लाइक दैट एजेंसी विच इज यू नो टेकिंग इसरो टेक्नोलॉजी एंड यू नो मेकिंग इट कमर्शियल दैट्स अ पी एस यू फिर देर इज एन अदर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉल इन स्पेस इन स्पेस का बर्थ ही इंडियन स्पेस पॉलिसी के वजह से हुआ है इन स्पेस इज द रेगुलेटरी बॉडी थोड़े साल पहले तक देर वॉज नो कंपनी अलाउड टू ऑपरेट इन स्पेस एप्लीकेशन ठीक है लॉन्च व्हीकल हो सैटेलाइट हो एंड ग्राउंड स्टेशन हो नो पीपल शुड नॉट यू नो पार्टिसिपेट सो देर वॉज नो रेगुलेटरी रिक्वायरमेंट बट अभी बिकॉज एवरी थिंग इज ओपन एंड इवन द एफ डी आई इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू हंड्रेड परसेंट नाउ which is mm. a very big positive for in space in space is a agency to regulate all that and in space will also promote space technology and space education so okay? mm. so there are three different bodies in space nsl and isro ab this is the government ecosystem the private ecosystem is anyways there the space industry works in three tier we call it launch segment space segment and ground segment launch segment mein launch uh, launch vehicles hai um and then there are deployers which work in launch vehicles theek hai the space segment mein you have satellites theek hai ya mm-hmm. landers ho ya kuch bhi ho communication satellites remote sensing satellites navigation satellites theek hai and there are different other satellites and in the ground segment mein you have antennas to get the data from and mm-hmm. once you get the data which is a communication segment ground segment mein there is also processing the data so aap data loge which is like almost petabytes hoga har country ke paas you take this data and process it to derive insights out of it ya communication hoga to you you know build communication software and all so ye teen segment mein play hota hai and the companies are very well placed across you know different mm. uh, you know segments and dhruva especially is there in all segments launch segment mein hamare paas mm. deployers hai space segment mein satellites and substations the ground segment mein we are the company that is making ground stations in india so uh, hmm Hmm. Okay. Interesting. And in space is essentially the regulatory body. So, कोई भी um firm है या company है उसको जैसे uh so does that mean कि there are like particular laws for companies to be careful about or how does a company yeah. look at its regulatory policy? Say you can talk about from Dhruva's perspective or from any private place perspective. What are some things that a a, a company needs to be wary of या careful of? ठीक है तो मैं एक इंटरेस्टिंग चीज बताऊंगा तो अगर आपको लॉन्च व्हीकल बनाना है ठीक है लॉन्च व्हीकल क्या करेगा एक बॉडी को इधर से लेके इट विल पुट इट इन इट इन अ टारगेटेड पोजीशन इन स्पेस दिस इज एज इक्वल एंड एज अ बैलिस्टिक मिसाइल ठीक है अगर आपने लॉन्च व्हीकल बना दिया तो यू हैव ऑल द टेक्नोलॉजी टू मेक अ बैलिस्टिक मिसाइल तो इसमें डेफिनेटली रेगुलेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड सो इन स्पेस को यू हैव टू टेल ऑल द टेक्नोलॉजी दैट यू विल बी बिल्डिंग एंड दे विल अप्रूव इट बेस्ड ऑन व्हाटएवर द रीजंस दे हैव and even building satellites also kya aap dekhoge kaun se spectrum mein aap communicate karoge to not disturb you know other agencies so you have to take all this approval saying i want to build satellite this will do this and this will communicate in this this band and iska engineering is i to fir in space will give approval fir ground segment mein antennas banaoge to antennas kaun kaun se satellite se data lenge fir even ye sab bhi chodo agar aapko foreign satellites satellites ka jo data hai जैसे अगर आप प्लानट का डेटा लोगे या साइकोलॉजिक जैसे बड़े कंपनी का डेटा लोगे इंडिया में बेचना है ठीक है एनी वन कैन नॉट डू दैट सो यू हैव टू रजिस्टर अ कंपनी एंड देन गेट द रीसेलर एग्रीमेंट रीसेलर एग्रीमेंट एंड देन यू नो गो टू इनस्पेस एंड गेट अ रेगुलेटरी अप्रूवल इनस्पेस हैज दी ऑल द अथॉरिटी टू गिव यू एन अप्रूवल बाद में अप्रूवल मिलने के बाद यू कैन डू योर बिजनेस इंटरेस्टिंग एक जो थॉट मेरे दिमाग में आ रहा है ऑन दिस यू नो एज यू सेड कि डेटा किसी को भी नहीं बेच सकते एक हम आई थिंक बहुत मूवीज में देखते हैं कि देर आर सैटेलाइट जब जैसे ये इम्पोर्टेंट न्यूक्लियर मिशन इंडिया के होने वाले थे तो देर इज लॉट ऑफ सैटेलाइट फ्राम यू एस फोर यू नो ट्राइंग टू गेट दैट डेट ऑन वॉट्स हैपनिंग ऑन वॉट्स दिन इसेंशली नॉट वॉन्टिंग इंडिया टू बिल्ड दैट न्यूक्लियर पावर और और वो कोरस्पॉन्डिंग टू एनी पर्टिकुलर नेशन मेरा क्वेश्चन ये है कि क्या उसकी रेगुलेशन में भी कुछ what is the body that takes care of that or does somebody take care of that ki is uh, say a us satellite you know collecting some information of say strategic importance to india okay with with everyone i mean i i understand this could be a very naive question but 
नहीं नहीं सर इट्स एन इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन एंड विदाउट टेकिंग नेम्स सी ठीक है आउटर स्पेस ट्रीटी है जिसमें इट इट इज मेंशन दैट यू नो स्पेस शुड बी स्पेस टेक्नोलॉजी शुड बी यूज्ड फॉर साइंटिफिक यू नो एंडीवर्स एक्सप्लोरेशन एंड ऑल दैट ठीक है या एंड एन ओनर्स ऑफ अ सैटेलाइट लॉन्चड बाय अ सम कंट्री विल लाइव विद द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ द कंट्री ठीक है yes. जागर मैंने अभी सैटेलाइट कोई कंपनी एस्टैब्लिश करके सैटेलाइट लॉन्च कर दिया और वो सैटेलाइट जाके किसी और कंट्री के साथ लेट इट बी प्राइवेट कंपनी जाके टक्कर दिया तो इट ओनर्स लाइस ऑन गवर्नमेंट बिकॉज़ इट वेंट अप्रूवल वाज गिवन बाय गवर्नमेंट सो गवर्नमेंट टेक्स ऑल द रिस्पांसिबिलिटी टू डू ऑल दिस रेगुलेटर ओके फिर द नेक्स्ट थिंग कम्स इज व्हेन अदर सैटेलाइट्स आर कमिंग अबव योर यू नो कंट्री एंड देन दे आर डूइंग समथिंग ठीक है इसमें द मैटर इज वेरी यू नो ग्रेस ठीक है पीपल नो दैट द सैटेलाइट्स आर डूइंग समथिंग एंड फिर अगर आपने कुछ कर दिया लाइक इफ यू रेज अ यू नो डिप्लोमेटिकली देयर इज लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग्स दैट यू कैन डू बट you cannot stop a satellite coming out of your country or the only thing is you can do is you know shoot that satellite which is at we have we, we have the capability which we have done right is anti satellite missions hai hamare paas but that would be very violent theek hai yeah. so uske liye there are techniques like you would have seen in movies agar so we, we can track satellites radars ke through yeah. ground radars ke through yeah. we know what satellite is going to come so yeah. wo satellite kya kaam karta hai how to you know conceive conceal our things that satellite does not know about so oh. what techniques bahut sare hain you have seen some movies probably indian movies yeah. that are shown <laughs> yeah okay to probably wo gray area hai to aap ab definitely wo uska extreme step lena to bada hi ha uh, extreme step lene ke liye technology hamare paas hai but it technology. depends ki extreme step warranted hai kya agar aap ground mein kuch karke you can you know just mitigate the risk that is coming out from other assets so वो टेक्नोलॉजी बहुत सिमिलर हो गया आई थिंक जो इसराइल की कैपेबिलिटीज हैं टू टू प्रॉब्ली शूट डाउन मिसाइल्स आई डोंट रिमेंबर व्हाट दे कॉल इट द आई थिंक आयरन डोम स्ट्रक्चर दे कॉल इट हां आयरन डोम इज लोअर एटमॉस्फेयर ना सो आयरन डोम इज लाइक इट विल डो फिल टॉप स्ट्रेटोस्फेयर या सैटेलाइट्स को अटैक करने के लिए व्हाटएवर यू यूज इट विल बी लाइक बैलिस्टिक मिसाइल सो बैलिस्टिक मिसाइल्स का कांसेप्ट ये है कि यू लॉन्च अ मिसाइल एंड यू गो टू स्पेस इट्स जस्ट लाइक अ रॉकेट यू गो टू स्पेस एंड लॉन्च इन अदर कॉन्टिनेंट ठीक है फिर सैटेलाइट स्पेस में जाने के लॉन्च हुई है मिसाइल स्पेस में जाने के बाद इट कैन डू एनीथिंग ठीक है तो दिस एंटी सैटेलाइट मिशंस आर जस्ट लाइक बैलिस्टिक मिसाइल्स व्हिच आर वेरी कंट्रोल्ड इंटरेस्टिंग डू यू डू यू वॉच अ लॉट ऑफ साईफाई movies and are there like particular favorites yeah so i watch started watching a lot of movies recently but sci-fi i used mm. to watch from you know time memorial immemorial the uh. Uh, the most interesting film that i like in sci-fi is uh, 2001 a space odyssey okay okay so most people might have not heard of it but if you love mm. science you have to watch this is may <laughs> the movie starts from how humans have you know gone through the evolution from monkeys then chimpanzees to humans uh-huh. and then directly cuts into moon base astronauts are there on moon and ai uh-huh. is playing with astronauts saying they it is controlling the you know launch vehicle uh-huh. ai is playing emotional games and all that it was very very ahead of its time so it i think it was released somewhere in 1970s about uh-huh. 2001 that's why it's called 2001 a space odyssey Oh okay but yeah i think uh, we are almost in uh, some situation like that with chat gpt coming <laughs> and, you know speak yeah. yeah in 2024 probably hmm yeah what is your perspective on that how how um you're also working with a lot of um, ai technologies right in in your work yeah. how, what is your perspective on that broadly and focus on the work that you're doing in in say again a little broadly in the space world how is how is ai ai going to impact of course data processing yes. i am assuming wo bahut bahut impact karega and what are the, what are the other things that you think it will impact right so ai is going to it has already been a revolution theek hai yeah. so how it was for 2000s world would be ai for the coming decades and ai once it comes it will you know capture all the data video mm-hmm. data ai data whatever we talking audio and everything else so most innovations are yet to come chat gpt was just a step theek hai as yep. you know there's a video call you know model called sora which is releasing film yeah, 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 yeah. made by yeah. again open ai so yeah. definitely going to come and uh, with respect to satellite images i can say and there's ai can be used everywhere even on launch vehicles you can use ai 
even in space you can use ai but uh, i'll tell something about satellite imagery so see once you get a satellite image of entire india to scan through all of that let's say to detect buildings or what uh, let's say or agriculture what's happening in agriculture farms it's very difficult for a person to go through theek hai fir there are lots of you know algorithms that can extract things out of but they have been very you know you know crude theek hai crude ways of doing things accuracy we i mean whatever we have achieved with algorithms is good enough but ai whenever it has come right the work that ai is doing on satellite imagery all the humans you know together also cannot do because we've got petabytes of data and we've got cloud theek hai so mm-hmm. data is there cloud is there ai is there you just deploy all the ai on the data and it will extract brilliant insights uh, for you just take like let's say hyderabad municipal corporation is there so it want to you know no information about what are the new constructions going on is there a permission already given to that theek hai permission ka database to hoga where what you do you take an image every day see what is the change from yesterday to today manually karna bahut mushkil hai hyderabad is a very big city so you just deploy ai cost kam hai no man effort is required change aapko automatically aa raha hai and then insights bhi aa raha hai so very very brilliant revolution ai is probably students or probably people who are learning or even who are who students at heart probably you know working and then learning mm-hmm. what how is the how do you say start being acquainted with with different ais uh, that you know can impact the industry that you're working in yeah so abhi maine dekha hai btech mein bahut sare log ai ka course dal rahe hain but you know ai mm-hmm. is something that you have to learn towards theek hai so mm-hmm. major thing is if you want develop models not just use models you need to know maths and statistics it's very important basics of statistics are the first thing like a b c d is of you know at least mm. taking a step towards ai once you know statistics and the uh, you know machine learning models that come that have come before ai has come i think that will you know directly lead you to big models like gpt that are today so i would say be religious on your math and statistics and then you know do whatever you want with ai mm. people who are not good at math please don't please don't uh as an <laughs> I... i think there are li- libraries today yeah. li- in python that uh, you know just abstract this math and use this function so even if yeah. you don't know math you can be a certain level of good at ai i mean there's always all mm-hmm. levels different kinds of levels in anything yeah on that what do you think are like different use cases or say different use cases of um the space technologies that we have and this also this question could also be looked at another way that one key myself as an individual what are the technologies say satellite based and you know other space technologies based things that probably exist in my environment ki shayad main apni day to day life mein bahut sari se gps use kar raha hu ya bahut sari um services use kar raha hu jisme there is a lot of space element involved but i am unaware about that so probably delving more into the use cases it brings and for an individual hum apni daily life mein kaise use kar rahe hain theek hai so space tech mein jaoge so i'll just speak about satellites theek hai so satellites mein kya hai um navigation to everyone knows gps kaise use hota yeah. hai the biggest yeah. biggest component that you know in, you interact every day with space is weather theek hai weather estimation mm-hmm. and disaster estimation like flood 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 i ka predict karne ke liye yeah mm-hmm. so to even predict agriculture you don't know you just go to your market get your you know rice or whatever chapati wheat aata etc but usme so space is a very big component in you know at least going to farmers reaching out to farmers saying this is not the crop that you have to sow this season this is the one ठीक है फिर प्रेडिक्टिंग द यील्स एंड हेल्पिंग देम दैट्स अ वेरी बिग कंपोनेंट द अदर बिग कंपोनेंट इज लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल सैटेलाइट्स लाइक ओशन सैट 3 व्हिच इंडिया हैज रिसेंटली लॉन्च्ड ओशन सैट 3 में देयर इज अ देयर आर डिफरेंट यू नो ईएम इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक बैंड्स व्हिच कैन डिटेक्ट क्लोरोफिल ठीक है सो ओशन में आप क्लोरोफिल देखोगे क्लोरोफिल के पास ही फिश जाते हैं सो बेसिकली फूड चेन कैसा है फाइटोप्लांकटन क्लोरोफिल के ऊपर यू नो दे chlorophyll is with phytoplankton jo hai they they have chlorophyll inside them zooplankton hmm. feeds on phytoplankton theek hai hmm. fish eat zooplankton to jahan pe chlorophyll hai wahan pe fish honge so the lots of insight goes to fishermen also saying idhar jaoge to fish aapko milega oh. so from space and then fishermen go there and get the fish when you eat hmm. a fish all this is going on in the background theek hai fir aapko disasters hote hain so there are a lot of you know estimation prediction bhi hota hai you know 
पीपल प्रेडिक्ट यहाँ पे हरिकेन हो रहा है यहाँ पे फ्लड आएगा पीपल गेट द पीपल सिविलियंस आउट ऑफ देम बिफोर डिजास्टर हिट्स सो दैट्स अ बिग कॉम्पोनेंट नेविगेशन इज एनी वेज एंड फिर कम्युनिकेशन सो कम्युनिकेशन में भी अ लॉट ऑफ सैटेलाइट्स आर यूज अगर जस्ट एग्जाम्पल आई एम गिविंग आई वॉज इट अंटार्टिका नो ग्राउंड केबल्स आर देर हाउ डू वी स्पीक टू इंडिया अगेन अ सैटेलाइट स्टारलिंग आ रहे हैं सैटेलाइट सो बिग मार्केट्स आर देर इन रिमोट सेंसिंग कम्युनिकेशन एंड नेविगेशन which you know give a lot of value add other than this hmm. there's a scientific component to it research about earth moon etc hmm. right there was um ek article jo meri matlab feed mein pop up hua tha which was oh, and one more maine hmm. bahut bada market miss kar diya hai wo hai aapka security hmm. you are very safe and sound hmm. in your own house the only reason is obviously try forces hmm. and also information from space yeah well well put timely put नहीं पढ़ा विच वॉज अराउंड डी सी जी ने एक आर्टिकल लिखा था ऑन रिमोट सेंसिंग फॉर द एग्रीकल्चर स्पेस जैसे आपने बोला आई थिंक दैट वुल पर्टेन अराउंड वेदर प्रोडिक्शन फॉर फॉर द एग्रीकल्चर इंडस्ट्री और ब्रॉडर देन वेदर ऑल्सो दे समूज केसेज दे yeah so when we say remote sensing for agriculture more than weather it is basically predicting yields okay like we have mm. in india itself uh, we have government uh, supported uh, uh, crop insurance scheme theek hai jisme agar aapka yield nahi aata hai crop ka because of any other reason government actually pays you the money if you pay for insurance theek hai so usme all the government companies and also different banks take help of a satellite image to you know price your insurance premiums that is one thing the second thing is you know helping farmers to predict uh, you know rainfall jaise weather aapne bola and then hmm. predict yields based hmm. on situation around wo sab bhi hai and hmm. abhi because of high resolution imagery you can even predict if there is some disease that is there in your farm just by sitting oh, here wow. and browsing a mobile wow. yeah this is are and alerts come saying you have to use this fertilizer just go because ye kya hota hai satellite images see a large area so पूरा डिस्ट्रिक्ट में जो भी हो रहा है दे नो एवरीथिंग सो पूरा अलर्ट सब फार्मर्स को चले जाता है दिस इज हैपनिंग या दिस इज ऑलरेडी हम हां एंड देयर आर अभी यूएस में देखोगे देयर आर फार्मर्स हु आर सब्सक्राइबिंग टू दिस तो जहां-जहां पे क्या होता है एक खेत में देयर आर वाटर थोड़े जगह में ज्यादा होता है वाटर कम होता है जब जहां पे ज्यादा हो जाता है उसको वाटर स्ट्रेस बोलते हैं वो भी डिटेक्ट होता है कि इधर वाटर नहीं डालना है आपको दूसरी जगह में डालना है ऐसा अलर्ट होता है यूएस Wow. pretty new for me to hmm. to register that wonderful yeah. but i think gradually it will like expand to the broader spectrum ki of matlab us yeah. mein i think it would be very like very advanced compared to what where we are at but you saying that it is matlab there in india wo to penetration ke hisab se hote hai because satellites anyways india same satellites are flowing over india also the data is there the only thing is एंड ऑन्टरप्रनोर शुड कम आउट सेइंग मेरे पास फार्मर्स है मेरे पास डेटा है मेरे को कुछ करना है उनके लिए हां ऐसा कुछ सो देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ वाइट स्पेस देयर एज अ एज अ ऑन्टरप्रनोर हम व्हाट डू यू थिंक आर सम अदर वाइट स्पेसेस जो ऐसे यूज केसेस में टैप हो सकते हैं इंडिया की स्पेस टेक वर्ल्ड में जो आपको लगता है कि अभी अपॉर्चुनिटी है या अभी यहां पे बहुत पोटेंशियल है ऑफ कोर्स देयर विल बी प्लेयर्स दैट आर इमर्जिंग बट आर देयर लाइक you being being a part of the space are there particular areas ya broadly to innovation to chalo hota hi hai india mein i think in space whatever you touch will turn into gold at the moment uh, because of labor parity but indian so indian consumers ke liye build karna is something new theek hai hmm. world ke liye build karoge is a different aspect indian consumers ke liye people have not solved a lot of problems jaise okay government lots of government customers are there uh, let's say one ka, वाटर डिपार्टमेंट है वाटर डिपार्टमेंट वॉन्ट्स ऑल द सर्विस एरिया एवरी डे कि मेरा पॉन्ट्स में मेरा टैंक्स में कितना है मैं कितना रिलीज कर सकता हूँ दैट इज पॉसिबल टूडे ऑल्सो विथ एग्जिस्टिंग डेटा समन हैज टू सॉल्व दैट प्रॉब्लम वो है एंड देन यू गो टू टॉक अबाउट एनी मिनिस्ट्री आई कैन टेल यू एन एग्जाम्पल विद स्पेस डेटा एग्रीकल्चर है एग्रीकल्चर में थिंग्स आर ऑलरेडी हैपनिंग फिर अर्बन डेवलपमेंट है अर्बन डेवलपमेंट में एज ए टोल चेंज डिटेक्शन करो रियल एस्टेट मॉनिटरिंग करो एंड इवन टू यू नो प्राइवेट कंपनीज एज वेल जैसे आपका कोई रियल एस्टेट फॉर्म है आपको देखना है भाई ग्रोथ किधर है मैं किधर इन्वेस्ट करूँ 
सैटेलाइट इमेज देखोगे ग्रेडुअल चेंज दिखेगा छोटा बिल्डिंग्स कहाँ बन रहे हैं बड़ा बिल्डिंग्स कहाँ बन रहे हैं पर कैपिटल इनकम किधर जा रहे हैं इन्वेस्टमेंट किधर कर सकते हैं ठीक है एंड देर आर ऑल्सो कंपनीज विच आर डूइंग कॉमोडिटी प्राइसिंग ठीक है जैसे स्टील फैक्ट्री एवरी डे इन थर्मल बैंड थर्मल बैंड इज इंडिकेटिंग टेम्परेचर ठीक है डेली एक सैटेलाइट आता है स्टील फैक्ट्री को देखता है एंड यू सी अ ग्राफ ऑफ टेम्परेचर इट शोज की स्टील फैक्ट्री इज ऑपरेटिंग एट वॉट कैपेसिटी ठीक है उसके हिसाब से यू कैन एस्टिमेट द सप्लाई ऑफ स्टील थ्रू वन फैक्ट्री यूजिंग सैटेलाइट यू कैन एस्टिमेट सप्लाई ऑफ इंटायर कंट्री ऑफ अ कमोडिटी सप्लाई ऑफ स्टील ठीक है आपको कमोडिटी इन्वेस्टमेंट करने के लिए दो चीजें चाहिए सप्लाई एंड डिमांड सप्लाई आपको मिल गया लिटरली विद सैटेलाइट ऑल यू नीड इज डिमांड ठीक है तो इसमें लॉट ऑफ पीपल सब्सक्राइब टू दिस इनसाइट ऑल्सो अबाउट स्टील बट एट अ बिगर पिक्चर इवन यू नो माइनिंग निकेल कॉपर कॉपर यू नो मोल्डिंग सारे फैक्ट्रीज ऑलरेडी मॉनिटर हो रहे हैं एट दिस मोमेंट इन साइट्स आर गेटिंग आउट and these insights because india is also big contributor to you know natural resources china se bhi data aata hai fir us se demand de jata hai sabko mila ke models hai jo predict karte hain ki kya hoga iska behavior aage ja ke already happening india mein thoda kam hai there's a lot of scope to build new models india mein bhi use hoga foreign mein bhi use hoga hmm and But these are just some examples hmm. Hmm. very interesting examples one uh people who have a entrepreneurial mind should probably think about you know, the opportunities the white spaces that are there yeah. yeah learning about these use cases is um very insightful and uh, now probably taking uh the conversation to uh, as we talked about humne environment ki baat kari ki you know what wrongs we are doing when we talk about the space world there's a whole aspect of space debris that we are creating right outer space mein hum kya um the wrongs that we are doing in outer space as you mentioned or you know treaty also governing that so how does is that like a problem that countries or the world should worry about one if yes then then how does the whole concept work and who's who's accountable and when do you decide that you know this is getting overhead I think it, the decision is already taken that is getting over and that's why treaty okay. also mentions. So okay. today, space debris is not allowed. You have to build satellites to bring them back eventually. Mm. Okay. Mm. So the thing is, space debris is very important because space is going to be the next frontier. Lots of satellites are going to come up. Yeah. Whoever stops, whoever not stops, people are going to launch satellites, get value out of it. So space debris is very important because. एक सैटेलाइट जो आप लॉन्च करोगे इट बिकम्स एन एसेट फॉर यू इट गिव्स यू वैल्यू इवन अ स्मॉल फाइव सेंटीमीटर क्लिप विच इज ट्रेवलिंग इन स्पेस कैन डिस्ट्रॉय अ वेरी बिग सैटेलाइट ठीक है तो यू आर नॉट इन अ स्टेट वेर यू कैन अलाउ एनी काइंड ऑफ स्पेस डेबरी एंड दैट इज वेरी वेल एस्टेब्लिश एंड देर आर गवर्नमेंट रेगुलेशन दैट डिक्टेट दैट यू शुड नॉट मेक एनी मेस इन स्पेस एंड या इंजीनियरिंग हैज टू बी डन टू मेक श्योर दैट दिस so sort of great that there are things in place and but i think initially it would would not have been uh, a worry but Nain, more recently you said debris to bahut zyada hai space debris to zyada hai um mm. so you, you the way to you know execute it or kya bolte hain govern it and agar kuch problem aata hai to bring it back is very important wo framework hai ya nahi hai and all that is important agar wo nahi hai so if, if you launch a satellite and you're not able to bring it back what are different mm. ways to bring it back and the startups are even coming in that angle as well okay mm. so there are startups which go and you know attack a satellite and then you know get it back down so oh, there's yeah. a startups hain abhi wow is it is there something based out of india also there are startups based out of india too and japanese startups are mostly concentrating in this usa oh, yes. also but i have seen couple of japanese startups which you know go to a satellite attach it attach to it and then fire oh, their right. engines down towards it nice. and then release it yeah i mean of course i cannot even think to imagine the amount of complexities involved but sounds yeah. <laughs> sounds interesting and yes the question that you know i was in, before going to ask about you you told about the use cases right wo use cases i think fir jo startups banenge will be more b2b because wo i think use cases are more towards how how broadly industries 
कैन कैन यूज दैट डेटा और डू यू थिंक कि बी टू सी भी हो सकता है से एज आई थिंक वो एग्रीकल्चरल से फार्मर सब्सक्राइबिंग टू सर्विस लाइक दैट ब्रॉडली इफ देर अ प्लेयर देर और मे बी दी टू अदर अदर थिंग्स इज वेल या सर इसमें क्या होता है इट डिपेंड्स ऑन एप्लीकेशन हम ऐसे कैटेगरीज करते हैं बी टू बी बी टू सी बट इट इज बेसिकली एप्लीकेशन एग्रीकल्चर हो बी टू सी हो सकता है बी टू जी हो सकता है बी टू बी हो सकता है ठीक है आप रिलायंस को जाके बेचो फार्म का डेटा उसको इंटेलिजेंस आएगा गवर्नमेंट को जाके बेचो उसको इंसेट्स आएगा एग्रीकल्चर को बेच सकते हो ऐसे एक्वाकल्चर फार्मर्स को बेच सकते हो या मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ यू नो फ्रेश वाटर को बेच सकते हो ठीक है उधर है फिर आप जाके सीधा माइनिंग कंपनीज को बेच सकते हो वो भी बी टू सी ही होगा मेरे हिसाब से ठीक है बिकॉज पीपल आर जस्ट माइनिंग वो एप्लीकेशन है कैटेगरेशन हम ऐसे कर रहे हैं बट ये स्पेस के हिसाब से जस्ट एन एप्लीकेशन गॉड इट गॉड इट एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट अपकमिंग मिशन फॉर इंडिया राइट आई रेड अबाउट गगन यान वन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर यू ऑल्सो वर्क ऑन निसार राइट सो टेल यू यू वर्क ऑन निसार प्रॉब्लम मोर ऑन दैट एंड मोर ऑन गगन यान वन एंड वॉट वॉट पीपल शुड लाइक expect what what should people yeah expect so it, uh, with respect to nisar it's the most expensive earth observation satellite which is being made by nasa and isro okay yeah. this will give us uh, an entire view of earth uh, hmm. in a non non day format like subah bhi dekhega raat ko bhi dekhega even if there is cloud because it's a radar satellite it can penetrate hmm. cloud and see what is happening on earth uske hisab se the scientists they are building applications for यू नो ग्राउंड सब्सिडेंट जैसे अगर ग्राउंड के नीचे कुछ हो रहा है अंडर वाटर वाटर है यू नो फिर उसके देन यू ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट एग्रीकल्चर बायोमास फॉरेस्ट्री पूरे लॉट्स ऑफ एप्लीकेशन आते हैं दैट्स वाई लॉट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट हैज बीन बाय बोथ ऑफ दिस गवर्नमेंट एंड इट्स एन इंजीनियरिंग मार्वल इन इट्स ठीक है एंड दिस इज एन अपकमिंग मिशन फिर उसके बाद अ लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट इज ऑल्सो बींग पुट इन मेकिंग ह्यूमन रिलेटेड लॉन्च वहीकल ठीक है वॉट एवर लॉन्च व्हीकल्स वी गॉट अ लॉट ऑफ सर्टिफिकेशन इज बींग डन देयर ह्यूमन रिलेटेड होना चाहिए फिर आएगा गगन यान मिशन जो ह्यूमन्स को स्पेस में लेके जाएगा पहले इंडियन एस्ट्रोनॉट्स को एंड इन द लार्जेस्ट स्कीम ऑफ थिंग्स वी गॉट चंद्रयान फोर लूपेक्स है विच इज बेसिकली मून बेस मिशन फिर उसके बाद एस्टेब्लिशिंग मून बेस ऑन मून ठीक है वो सब a greater vision hai and the pace of this has increased previously if you hmm. if you have seen 10 years before 15 years before agar ek aap mission bologe to shayad 10 years 15 years ke baad wo schedule hota tha wo bhi extend hoke 20 years banta tha but this gaganyaan hmm. is being like a very very motivated mission for india because india as a country has realized the potential of space that it has and we should not be behind anyone so ह्यूमन रिटेड लॉन्च हुई के लॉलेट टेस्ट हो रहे हैं पुष्प लैंडिंग भी टेस्ट हो चुका है क्यू एसकेप सिस्टम भी टेस्ट हो चुका है ओशन में ड्रॉप करके एंड एस्ट्रोनॉट्स का वीडियो भी आया था इफ यू हैव सीन और नॉट सो एस्ट्रोनॉट्स हैव बीन सेलेक्टेड उनका स्पेस सूट के एंड दे हैव ऑलरेडी बीन यू नो गिवन ट्रेनिंग एंड ऑल दैट तो इट इज गोइंग एट एन एक्सप्रेस पेस एंड आई थिंक गगनयान जब होगा व्हेन ह्यूमंस आर हैव आर विल बी सेंट to space from india i think wo pura country celebrate karne ka ek festival ban jayega that day ah, so yeah right jaise chandrayaan 3 ka landing ha chandrayaan 3 ka to bahut hi bada tha fir abhi ek aur mission aayega which is spadex usme kya hai you will launch two objects and both hmm. of them will dock together like interstellar mein jaisa hota hai na ek space station ko jaake dock hmm. karoge वैसे ही हमारा spadex jo mission hai it it will demonstrate a docking experiment uske next इंडियन स्पेस स्टेशन भारतीय अंतरिक्ष स्टेशन जो प्राइम मिनिस्टर ने बोला वो भी आएगा सो स्पेडेक्स आई थिंक इज देयर इन अर्ली नेक्स्ट ईयर वो भी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग होगा हाउ द डॉकिंग हैपेंस एंड ऑल या सो सब आई थिंक एवरीथिंग दैट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम नाउ स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम निसार इज अ विजनरी स्पेस एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट इज गोइंग टू हैपन जस्ट एक एक लेवल बढ़ते जा रहे हैं इंडिया जो पिछले इयर्स में हुआ इंडियन इंडिपेंडेंस के बाद आई थिंक एवरी ईयर नाउ इज लाइक अ रेवोल्यूशनरी स्टेप दैट इज हैपनिंग इन इंडियन साइंस इकोसिस्टम वाओ प्लेजर टू बी नोइंग दैट एंड एट लीस्ट बीइंग बीइंग अवेयर दैट इफ यू नो प्रोबब्ली नॉट बीइंग एबल टू कंट्रीब्यूट मच टू दैट बट प्रोबब्ली कंट्रीब्यूटिंग इन द सेंस दैट नाउ से अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल विल यू नो नो अबाउट दिस थ्रू आवर कन्वर्सेशन सो but you know these missions coming up right there's of course happiness uh juvenation ki hum bahut we're very elated but on broader scales what do you think ki ye 
एक एक ऐसे मिशन मतलब जो बहुत ही ऑप्टोमिस्टिक है कंसिडरिंग you know the way the way you know the funds that we use and the 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 limited resources that we use to you know create mm-hmm. things that are exponentially you know more um say productive successful uska impact kya hota hai ek um or at a nation or say at an at an individual or at an mm-hmm. indian broadly impact to hoga एंड इम्पैक्ट इज़ नॉन लीनियर आपको सीधा इम्पैक्ट जैसे मैंने हमने एप्लीकेशन बात किया जैसे जी पी एस हो कम्युनिकेशन हो या जो डिफरेंट एप्लीकेशन बात किया उसमें लीनियर दिखेगा नॉन लीनियर ऐसा है कि देखो जो भी मोटिवेटेड इंडिविजुअल्स हैं उनको इंजीनियरिंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज मिल रहे हैं नॉट एंड बिकॉज वी आर ऑल्सो केटरिंग टू द वर्ल्ड जैसे स्टार्टअप्स हैं वी आर बिल्डिंग फॉर द वर्ल्ड तो इंडियन इंजीनियर्स एंड इंडियन स्टेम एंथुजियास को साइंस एंथुजियास रिसर्चर्स को अपॉर्चुनिटी मिल रहा है कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट करने के लिए उनका जॉब्स भी ठीक है फिर उनका कैरियर्स भी बन रहे हैं एंड दैट इज एडिंग वैल्यू टू द जीडीपी ठीक है एफ डी आई आ रहा है फिर फॉरेन इन्वेस्टमेंट आ रहा है या फॉरेन मनी आ रहा है जैसे पेमेंट्स में वो सब इट एड्स वैल्यू ठीक है दिस इज ऑल नॉन लीनियर ठीक है एंड एंड ऑल्सो सी दिस स्पेस एज एस इट स्पेस इज द नेक्स्ट फ्रॉन्टियर वो सीधा विजिबल नहीं होगा बट if nations get a capability that is non reachable theek hai from india wo ho jayega diplomatically bhi hard fir technology hame upgrade karna bhi hard ho jayega theek hai jaise abhi ek country ko le lo jo rich hai at least on the level of india but does not have a space capability yeah to usme kya hoga ek table pe baith ke baat bhi nahi kar sakte bahut sare angles mein jaise koi aisa situation aa jata hai jahan pe defense ka talks ho rahe hain theek hai they have a capability to do anything to us coming out on our country and do but we don't have as a situation mein hum nahi hai we already have all the talent engineering system say and everything so bahut hi different angles mein wo ho jata hai india ko capability chahiye and india ko value added bhi chahiye to dikhta nahi hai but hai bahut bada hmm. essentially jo main samajh raha hu ki in a lot of forums like you know ग्लोबल कंट्रीज की या नेशंस की हम बात करते हैं उसमें यू आर सेइंग दैट यू नो इट स्ट्रेंथन्स द नेशंस अम पर्सपेक्टिव एंड द स्पीकिंग पावर इंक्रीजेस स्पीकिंग पावर इंक्रीजेस बिकॉज़ वी हैव लॉट्स ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी अभी वॉरफेयर में ले लोगे ना तो अभी क्या देख रहे हो यूक्रेन में पूरा ड्रोन का वॉर हो रहा है राइट यू यू कैन जस्ट टेक आउट अ टैंक यूजिंग अ ड्रोन ठीक है ऐसे ही मैं जो नहीं बता पाऊंगा अभी देयर इज लॉट्स ऑफ सैटेलाइट टेक्नोलॉजीज व्हिच कैन एलिमिनेट अ कंट्री टू ओके you should mm. you should be able to track that technology you should be able to develop that technology with respect to security ye security ka baat hai baaki applications to waise bhi value add kar rahe hain jaise ki aap aise mm. satellite ko launch nahi karoge with 200 crores or 300 crores which will not give a return of 200 or 300 crores communication mm. satellites will give a return remote sensing satellites will give a return theek hai wo mm. return jo hai dilute ho jata hai and people in pieces get value theek hai jaise aap airtel loge ya tata dish tv loge they pay a small money but all of them together make an industry which pay huge money to launch a satellite theek hai to us hisab se value definitely is there you may not hmm. realize it but when you switch on a tv space is what working <laughs> right yeah ye use ke sab nishan miss kar diya tha nahi we had it in the hmm. communication space right hmm. interesting interesting and you know i think we we had an a very interesting and uh, raw conversation if mm. if if you were to say you know signify the importance of space or say barely you know put it down as why should someone why should an indian know what is happening in the indian space industry yeah so indian space industry as i already told is hmm. an avenue for science enthusiasts Yeah. to be a part of india ka story grow raha hai and space is a very big contributor in it our value yeah. has multiply increased in recent years and you definitely have to know what is isro doing what are different startups doing and where you can contribute probably you can hmm. be a rev- bring a revolutionary idea which will take india to a next level no one yep. knows indian government has given you full rights today you can do anything hmm. send a rocket hmm. to space send a missile kuch bhi karo theek hai you hmm. have the rights you just mm-hmm. have to bring the innovation so it's important that you know and be a part of this great growth story hmm and non science individuals like myself how do you think they can they can contribute because probably a lot of innovation ya complex ideas to ek mere jaisa individual shayad na la pae given that i don't have a 
you know science and space and technology background so how do you think the other spectrum apart from the science students in country i mean i understand the questions can be nahi 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 i think yeah. uh, very appreciated this question jab jab tak main isro mein tha i also used to think ki non science yeah. individuals ka nahi hota hai but yeah. i think when i came to dhruva space i was shocked to see a lot of people who are very enthusiastic and are using their skills to contribute they say one example hmm. is uh, there is an individual who is an mbbs doctor theek okay. hai he knows more about space Uh, and industry than I used to know while I was in Israel. ठीक है. Wow. Very frankly wow. speaking, ठीक है. Wow. So essentially, अभी software में क्या होता है? Software में even if you don't have a B.Tech degree today, the industry is so big that if you're skilled enough than the engineers that are there in the market, you're recruited. Space is also in a similar way. If you have skills and if you have passion, definitely you you can be a part of the story in some or the other. ठीक है वॉट एवर यू हैव द स्किल्स राइट आपको यू नो इफ यू हैव गुड कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स इफ यू हैव यू नो स्किल्स ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग बिजनेस आई थिंक यू कैन ब्रिंग बिजनेस ठीक है ऑल दैट इज नीडेड इज अ लिटिल बिट एफर्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड द मार्केट क्या है स्टार्टअप सिस्टम क्या है गवर्नमेंट एक्सम क्या है रिक्वायरमेंट क्या है क्या योर स्किल्स आर द प्राइमरी थिंग या वॉट आर द डिफरेंट रोल्स इन इन स्पेस टेक फॉर्म से लाइक ध्रुवा वॉट आर डिफरेंट designations people are working at that could also give an idea ki kya kya roles mein log exist karte hain to ye roles hain ji ki broader other other space um, tech startups le lo ya private um, companies ka lo usme bhi exist karte honge actually is not industry specific so you even if you sure. take any other engineering firm engineering sure. firm mein kya hota hai tech roles are very heavy right so your product yeah. is basically tech product so you need to yeah. know science and all that yeah. stuff mechanical yeah. or jo bhi yeah. other than tech roles there will be business roles jo hmm. you यूजर फेसिंग होगा या बैक एंड होगा जो होगा hmm. फिर फाइनेंस रोल्स होंगे ठीक है hmm. फिर पी आर रोल्स होंगे जहाँ पे आप क्रिएटिव कर रहे हो ठीक है फिर स्ट्रैटेजी रोल्स होंगे जैसे आप कंसल्टिंग hmm. फॉर्म्स में करोगे या सो एनी इंजीनियरिंग फॉर्म विल हैव दिस लाइक लॉकेट मार्टिन और वॉट एवर इट इज एंड थ्रू ऑल्सो हैज दो रोल्स इंटरेस्टिंग चलो पॉइंट इज की देर आर लॉट ऑफ लाइक एवेन्यूज फॉर नॉन साइंस पीपलोसिएटेड यस Yeah. It's just that probably an inclination, utna powerful ho ki karna hai, interest ho. So there's of course yes. a lot of avenues, right? And um, mm. before we um, before we take this to an end, Mr. Radha Krishna, is there anything you would like to add or something that probably I might have missed that you'd want people to know? No, I think uh, I think we have talked in brief, uh, uh, you know, in mm. length about a lot of different topics. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I think, like for students, if you want to kind of come into space, especially in India, lot of I I met a lot of students who want to just go to NASA and or ESA mm. or work in foreign projects. I think uh, that should be not that should not be the mindset at this moment. I think uh, India mm. is all almost doing all the things that. the countries are doing even in yeah. astro you know exploration as well big telescopes are coming right if yeah. you just, i what i want students to do is track what india is doing across science okay fir mm. you will be mesmerized to know a lot of big projects are happening and then try to be in that place and be a part of india growth story because your talent will actually help india grow in a faster way theek okay? hai yeah. so i think india has opportunities i think all students need to do is you know explore hmm fantastic Thank you so much, Mr. Radha Krishna, for your time. Thank you so much, people who've yeah. tuned in. I mean, बहुत अच्छा लगा सर आपसे बात करके और इसके आगे भी हम आपसे बातें करते रहेंगे. But thank you, uh, people, for uh, staying through. Probably there's a lot of pointers जो uh, Radha Krishna ji ने हमें बताए हैं जो हमें note करके उसपे काम करना चाहिए. At least be more aware, be more researched. right probably we've talked about a lot of concepts in a lesser detail just shayad maybe a lot of interesting people would have wanted more of so i think probably there's this um an onus on now your side to you know be more uh, take more initiative and you know research more on that probably enlighten us also more on that and uh, yeah just that i think we'll take your leave for today agar uh, aapka time acha raha ho to you can subscribe you can comment something you want in the future you can comment and uh, you can again if you if you're not already following mr radha krishna on linkedin and twitter you can do that there'll be handles in the description and uh, yes we'll take your leave for today thank you so much for joining in people bye